Hi everyone, and today I would love to introduce and show you my latest build, which is Gemma 3 with O4 Pro, 3 inch drone. Uh, and I would love to share with you uh, the thinking process, what uh, I used here, why I decided to try this frame, and give you a little bit more info about the frame because this frame is actually very, very good. Uh, and let's start with it. Let's start with the frame. What you need to know about the frame? Yeah, I tried to show you from all the aspects of here how O4 Pro looks inside it. Yeah, so how in general it looks. As you see, it's unibody design. And let's start from the beginning. This frame is open source. It means that you can uh, easily buy it uh, from. Uh, you can easily download any uh, files cut it yourself or find a CNC factory or whatever who can cut you the carbon and uh, yeah, free, feel free to use. Then uh, because it's open source it's a little bit cheaper. For example, I ordered this uh, frame here in Europe from Drone uh, FPV Racer. Very nice, very good customer service, uh, very very fast delivery. I got it within the day or something. Uh, they send packages the same day. Uh, and uh, the, that costed me 43 euros for t 4700 carbon, like very high quality carbon, very high quality cut. Uh, it came with some basic TPU such as antenna mount, uh, camera mount and uh, pretty much it I believe. Uh, yeah, antenna, camera and that's it, yeah. Uh, and in addition it came with this small uh, battery strap which is a very high quality strap actually it has it is rubberized and really holds the battery well uh, it doesn't come with this super sticky pad uh, it comes uh, with a standard pad I really advise to also buy if you buy from them they have also available super sticky ones uh, and uh, yeah I just use that one uh, and uh, yeah that's it about uh, like the open sources of the uh, frame uh, in uh, US you can get it from CNC uh, uh, CNC Canada or CNC drones, um, pretty easy, available as well. Uh, and uh, there are a couple of aspects I love about it. First, uh, it's tiny, yeah, so to compare, 3 inch drone, it's like not really only the sync of uh, this drone, but to compare, here is my phone, Pixel 6 Pro, and uh, here is a uh, drone, yeah, so it is even shorter than my phone. Yeah, if we compare to Radio Master Pocket, here is Radio Master Pocket Drone. Yeah, Pocket uh, compared to the size of the drone. And uh, if you never flew 3 inch but you have 5 inch, here is comparison to my 5 inch drone, also is O4 Pro. Yeah, uh, if you get it here and uh, yeah, if we compare it side by side, I hope it is all visible, but here you can see the size, it's yeah, completely different league, which is of course uh, positive and negative side of it. I will focus on mainly positive side of uh, things because yeah, we already go to the, the size of the drone, about the negatives, I can say a couple of words, but mainly why this drone. Uh, I built it for travel, like any 3, 3.5 inch drones I mainly built for travel to be honest. Um, and uh, this drone just can go anywhere. With my Radio Master Pocket I can go for a hike or whatever. Uh, it is up to 150 grams so I'm not that much concerned about uh, people being around. So we will wait every single together but uh, yeah it is 245 grams. So all good there. Uh, with electronics I used, to be honest, there is nothing special. I used PDB AIO, but I decased it. I truly don't understand uh, why the hell they put uh, heat shrinks on the uh, AIO. In the end, it was the way the same as my mini stack. So if uh, weight is not concerned for you, then just get a, a mini stack. It will be cheaper to maintain in the future because m most of the time your ESC will burn out and uh, not the whole stack at once so you could just replace ESC which usually costs like if we take the same brand yes PDB stack costs about like 55 60 euros and ESC alone is around 30 euros so it will be still cheaper uh, to replace here if you burn the ward you burn basically it all uh, but if you 
uh, have uh, a weight limit so if you want to build something that's up to 150 grams uh, there is no option rather than go to, uh, to go AIO so speedy BIO, nothing to complain, nothing to brag about, simple, does it job, uh, works good, uh, no issues. Yeah, O4 Pro, spectacular image quality also, not much to say, we all know what it is and how it uh, shoots and what quality it gives. Uh, maybe a couple of words about the motors, motors are RC in power 1404.6. Yeah, so they're a little bit more powerful than a classic 1404 uh, and interestingly I decided to try 3850 uh, kV it's a little bit low on kV like these motors could like go good with uh, 3.5 inch yeah it gives you very smooth very good flight I really think that on 3.5 inch is better to keep it under 4000 kV for 3000 uh, logically will be to go with 4500 uh, kV uh, but first of all I had these motors already available I didn't want to buy others and then I, as I mentioned I wanted for travel meaning for cinematic flights for cinematic flights I prefer something to be more efficient yeah to don't uh, that doesn't draw that much amps uh, and uh, which uh, then will give me extra flight time about flight time and batteries I used, I will say a couple of more words later as well. Then, um, as I mentioned, what I love about this frame is that you have very easy access uh, to all the electronics and your camera cage is separate from uh, the main board. Yeah, because I used here my M10 HDLRC uh, GPS, I made it with such thin, only decoration, extra weight, you could easily remove it, but I just love how it looks. Gives me a little bit of uh, lipo protection, but uh, that's a secondary on this drone. Uh, I just love how it looks with this one. Um, good location, locks satellites fairly fast, works fine, no issues. Again, nothing special. The same as with the receiver, ELRS 2.4. Um, happy model EP1, I believe. Uh, nothing special. Yeah, covered here in TPU, holder, all good. I would really recommend to use the uh, VFly uh, buzzers. It will save your drone one day. I lost my drone because I was lazy uh, enough to put uh, the buzzer, but uh, put it, it will save your ass one day and you will be thankful. Uh, what, uh, why VFly buzzer? By the way, because it has a function when you plug, like when you unplug the battery, it starts to beep, but then you can plug it back for a couple of seconds. And when you unplug, it will turn it off. Yeah, otherwise you would need to reach out to this button here and it's not always easy to reach it or you have to place it on top of the quad and it looks just ugly. So well, I have Jamsu uh, buzzer and there you actually have to press it, which is a little bit uh, pain in there. That is why I have covered it here on my drone, like this is tiny object, that just makes it easier to find here. You can see where I have easy access yeah, to my buzzer. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's do the final test uh, for the weight. So you all see that it's actually sub 250 grams. Yeah, and I will say a couple of words about the frame and the batteries I used. So here is all the hardware. Yeah, here we got the screws which are required. By the way, you can easily remove uh, standoffs. Yeah, so here, for example, these two standoffs I think you can easily remove and uh, save some weight. Uh, so here we go on top with the top plate and uh, this one is also fairly heavy for the strap. You can find, uh, for example, Foxier has uh, like 2-3 grams uh, lighter but still good uh, straps and here we end up with 178 grams. Uh, with this uh, battery, which is the GNB720 high voltage battery, you get to 245 grams. Yeah, which uh, gives you room for another five grams. Um, and what I would maybe go and I will try in the future, it's uh, Tattoo Airline it's, uh, 750, uh, which is not a uh, high voltage. I, to be honest, don't like high voltage batteries because you get a lot of power in the beginning, but then you feel the battery suck more. Uh, I prefer to be a classic 4.2.
uh, like this one for example it's 850 dot wire line but this one is of course heavy but gives you way more time like you fly around 10 minutes with this uh, uh, battery uh, and last one which I already tried and used and it gave me more than 15 minutes so I got 3 volts per cell uh, on this uh, battery pack which I did myself it's 3S18 uh, 1650 Li ion molecule cells uh, it's a little bit heavy I could remove quite some grounds from here but uh, it ends up having 340 Four grams, so it's over 250 grams, but it's flyable. I tested, it, it's flyable. Cinematic fly, easy. What I am left to test is uh, this 4S 8650 Li Ion pack. Yeah, with this we surely get quite heavy, but also you get more KV compared to this one. I actually want to test the drones. Yeah, I probably use this drone to compare 4S versus 3S. At one point you get one more pack, so you get more, uh, you get more uh, uh, capacity, but and uh, then you also can get more amps from here, yeah, more power because you get uh, higher KV, yeah. So KV, basically how fast your prop is spinning depends on the voltage you supply. So with the 4S it will spin faster, with 3S it will spin slower, yeah. Uh, but at the same time this is heavier pack. Uh, which then also reduces how much power in the end, like yeah, what is the thrust to weight ratio. So I'm really curious to check it out and see like which battery is more efficient, uh, which is more stable to fly and just feels nicer. Uh, so stay tuned if you want to see a comparison of 4 versus 3 aspect. And uh, that's pretty much it. A uh, couple of uh, other details which I think worth mention mentioning about this frame is that it's unibody, but don't be concerned that it's a unibody. You won't break the uh, the plate. Yeah. So even if you're a beginner, if you crush a lot, uh, even to be honest, in concrete, I really don't see a scenario how hard you should put 250 gram. Uh, drawn into the wall to break four millimeter arm i mean first of all it is not a bando drone like i can say like if you want to fly nice bando get something other get more powerful first of all and maybe don't put 250 euro uh worth vtx in it try something cheaper uh, i for example use for such purposes cadix vista um, and it just works perfectly fine but yeah, like as a travel drone, to sum up, it's one of the best options. Uh, this uh, Geno, the Geno frame, they have also a 3 inch light version, which I'm really curious to see and maybe even go with the smaller motors uh, because light version is around 40 grams or like 42 grams, 3 inch, which uh, I think will be very interesting to see, especially with, uh, you know, a little bit uh, smaller motors uh, um, and maybe even the case 04. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how it will fly and uh, yeah, what will be the flight times. Let me know in the comments if you're interested to see uh, the case 04 Pro uh, together with the uh, light version of this frame. And uh, we will see. Uh, so that's basically it. So here's the final look 04 Pro, all the electronics, DJI 04. Uh, Pro mounted here, secured, uh, motors, buzzer, everything you might need in the drone is here. So uh, now you will see some flight footage I will attach of this drone, so enjoy it and uh, leave a comment what do you think if you already tried the Geno frame, if you want to try the Geno frame, what do you think about this build, yeah, let's bond a little bit.
and I just came back as you saw it just flies perfectly fine even with these motors enough power yeah this is how it looks all assembled and uh, this is uh, battery uh, on top yeah all looks nice with anti filter of course because we fly cinematic uh, FPV here uh, with the antennas what I love about this build also is that it gives me quite some range like I really mean this it gives me a lot of range I really love the configuration of antennas that way yeah so here uh, first of all you can control it you can also put them a little bit lower like just push it through the TPU but I really love um, how extended they are of course when you fly away yeah you get a perfect signal but also when you turn there is nothing stopping the signal in front so you perfectly fine all the time no matter which direction you fly um, how high or low you fly you get the perfect perfect uh, connection with uh, your antennas and between your antennas and goggles and the uh, uh, second thing is about the location of uh, your uh, ELRS like receiver antenna also one of the best locations is to put it up front why? Because when you fly away, your drone is in uh, this position, so uh, and you are somewhere here down, so you get a clear view, so you get a perfect uh, connection here. And when you turn back, yeah, so you are facing towards yourself, and again you get a, a clear connection here. When you are here in the back, yeah, when you're flying away, you are good, but when you turn, the drone actually is against you, yeah, so uh, it will block some kind of uh, signal. Uh, what you can also find, you can find some prints where we can mount uh, antenna uh, vertically. I would use this uh, option if you fly uh, with uh, diversity antennas. And uh, to be honest, uh, to be fair, for the uh, travels a little bit of the long range, I would advise to get uh, diversity antennas and then you can mount them almost the same way. Maybe one antenna up front here. Uh, yeah, and one antenna like this, or maybe then uh, the one antenna vertically you can uh, mount also somewhere here, so you cover kind of the full spectrum. Uh, be aware, with such orientation here you get no signal, so when you fly, uh, there might be the case when during the turn you can get a small RX loss for like a second or even so even might not even be like if you are quite close but let's say when you're far away yeah but other than that perfect orientation of antennas very secure I feel very safe flying this drone uh, that it won't uh, be lost uh, and that I won't lose the run on this signal and GPS just gives me a little bit more security just in case I get the RX loss that it won't just crash and usually just flies up and then I get my signal back. Uh, that was it. Hope you liked the build. Let me know if you plan to build a similar uh, drone. If you already have a syringe drone, um, how do you like it? Uh, what would you change in my build? Would you I recommend to go to the higher motors or no? And uh, all in all, enjoy flying. Have a great rest of the summer. Ciao.